welcome to the good the bad and the tarot my name is Laura and this is my channel today I'm going to be doing a love forecast for the sign of Gemini for the month of June 2016 Gemini this is your June 2016 love forecast and today for your reading I'm going to be doing things just a little bit differently just for the sake of change and going into uh, well we have a summer solstice coming up and um, I myself am looking forward to um, some new positive energy coming in. We've been dealing with a lot of retrogrades uh, in the month of May and um, things really uh, are clearing out, um, clearing out the old and making way for the new. So um, to celebrate that um, I'm using a new tarot deck, um, the Anakade Tarot, which will be my primary deck for this reading. Um, to supplement this deck, I am using the Vera Sibilla Italiana Oracle deck. Um, these are the little Italian Oracle cards that I'm going to be using for clarifiers, mainly on the core cards that come up if they come up in your reading. Finally, I will be selecting an Oracle message for you, Gemini, using the Oracle of Mermaids deck. So I hope that you will sit back have a cup of tea or snack and relax and enjoy this reading. Okay, Gemini, to start off your reading, I am going to select an oracle card for you and we will discuss this uh, oracle message um, at the end of your reading. So I'm going to go ahead and select your card now. Let's see if we can just get these to sort of fan out here. All right, sensing the energy for Gemini. Okay, the card that I pulled for you is Adrift. It says letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for time. So we will um, keep this card here as a reminder that that may be a theme in your reading. Fantastic. So let us take a look at your tarot cards. Spirit, what are the love messages and energies that you have for the sign of Gemini? This is for my Gemini suns, Gemini moons, and Gemini risings, and those on the cusp. This is a general love reading and will not resonate with everyone. For the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, I do suggest coming and getting a private reading, either with me or another tarot reader that is of your liking, of your choosing. Spirit, please show me the love messages and energies that you have for the sign of Gemini for the month of June 2016. that you have for Gemini Spirit for the month of June 2016. Taking a deep breath in and calling on the energy of all my Geminis. What are the messages and energy spirit that Gemini needs to hear regarding their love lives for the month of 2016, for the month of June 2016? This is for my Gemini suns, Gemini moons, and Gemini risings. So today I'm going to be reading the cards um, in the Celtic cross spread here, which is traditionally what I've done in the past. The only difference being that I am not reading the runes this month, but I will bring them back at, an, at a later date. Let's see how those are looking. I have a little bit of a different camera setup, so 
Uh, you guys can let me know your feedback on that. Let's take a look at your cards. Okay, you have the Knight of Pentacles in your present situation. Crossed by the Lovers. What comes below you is the Tower. What comes above you is the Hanged Man. In your recent past, you have the High Priest. My goodness. Lots of major arcana. In the near future, you have the Page of Swords. In the position of how you see yourself, you have the Four of Cups. Okay, in your environment or how your significant other may be viewing you or dealing with you, they have the Queen of Pentacles. And uh, your hopes and fears are temperance in reverse. Your outcome for the month of June is the Page of Pentacles reversed. So um, right off the bat, you know, I do see a lot of significant energy around you this month, Gemini. You have, um, uh, I would say, you're surrounded by these major arcana and crossed by a major arcana. So even in the small cross and in the big cross, three, three out of four cards here and one out of two are major arcana. So that does tell me you have a lot of powerful energy surrounding you this month, which major arcanas do talk about energies that are out of our control. This is kind of like, um, think of it as planetary forces and things that we must contend with the best that we can. So in your present situation with regards to your love life, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight um, can represent your energy. It can also represent the energy of someone who is very significant in your life. Traditionally, knights are masculine energy, but they don't have to be. So you have to keep an open mind about this. Um, as I interpret it for your energy, I see you going slowly forward. Slow and steady progress. You are not going to come right out with your emotions. You are not going to jump for joy at the first prospect that is interested in you. Look at this knight's posture. He's sitting back and enjoying the sunset. He's worked very hard to get where he is and he is not does not need to go anywhere fast. He's all about taking his time and he is connected to the earth, being that he is a pentacle here. This can also represent the energy of a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn, but normally when I talk about your significator card, this is you in the present situation in June. Going into June, this is your energy, Gemini. This is the energy that surrounds you. What crosses you in June is the lovers in reverse. To me, this signifies a split with a soulmate. Someone that uh, you absolutely um, would have been love at first sight. Um, it would have been someone that you have a deep karmic connection with and therefore with that karmic connection comes a deep lesson because the lovers is all about lessons and choices that we make in this lifetime. It also signifies to me um, a breakup. So your challenge this month is, um, you know, when I say what helps or hinders you, this is the energy that is um, either helping or hindering you and can also represent an obstacle. So your obstacle going forward is to contend with um, a split from a soulmate, someone that you considered, karmically speaking, someone that was very important to you, someone that you um, had a very deep connection with. And um, so yes, um, now I'm not seeing any cards here that talk about uh, heartbreak. I don't have the Three of Swords and I don't have any cards here that talk about major, major, um, well, let me not say that because I do have the tower here. So obviously what puts you in this situation and this is at the heart of this situation, something you may not be aware of, is you have the tower. So this is a 
obviously a crumbling of a foundation. I, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this split with a soulmate um, was the tower situation. And that happened because while soulmates do come into our lives to teach us great lessons, they're hard lessons, they're painful lessons. Um, they come here to teach us things about ourselves so that we can grow and become more of the person we're meant to be. And therefore, while they may have been our lovers in past lives and that they are teaching us some kind of karmic lesson, in order to integrate that lesson with our life, with our true path, our true destiny, and to meet our true love in this lifetime, in the material world, not just in the cosmic, but in the material world, in this physical body, situation like this, where the tower talks about a relationship that was built on, it didn't have a sturdy foundation, okay? The reason why the tower comes down is because it is built on either lies, it's built on things that are not stable for us, that do not represent a steady, stable foundation. And so here we have, you know, th this was an event that um, was shocking, distressful, um, and completely obliterated your world as you knew it. Um, all of that had to be wiped away so that you can start over, so you can start from clean. Um, I'm going to bring back the Oracle card here because it does say letting go and allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. So um, imagine yourself drifting in this water and just going with the current, how peaceful that is and how freeing that is. So in that sense, it is a very positive change and a very positive transformation for you, albeit a difficult lesson for any, anyone um, humble enough to receive it. In the recent past, you have the high priest. This does talk about conforming in some way. It talks about rules and abiding by society. Um, this can represent a father figure or um, a man in your life or a woman who has been a teacher for you. Um, this also talks about your beliefs and your values. Um, some of you may have recently joined a spiritual organization or maybe strengthening your, um, your own value system. Um, because the high priest talks about doing things the right way. Um, so when I say conforming, he has the keys to the church. He has the keys to the faith. And so he is saying that um, from a spiritual perspective that you must do the right thing and uh, follow your beliefs. Um, values and beliefs are very important to you. We're very important to you. And excuse me. I just... <laughs> Excuse me. Coming up in your recent past, this does tell me that um, you may have been joining an organization larger than yourself or in some way conforming to a traditional value system, something that you rely on. Um, some of you may have turned to God for help, may have turned to... <sighs> Sorry, may have turned to a spiritual mentor or a teacher, like I said, someone that um, could really break down what are your values and how are you going to live your life in according, accordance to those values. So um, it is a conservative card, but it is, um, you know, it is talking about um, values and traditions and um, it may even represent a commitment to yourself, to a spiritual organization, to a belief system. And um, this is all about doing what feels right for you and conforming in a good way, being conservative maybe in terms of um, holding tight to your, tight and fast to your beliefs, what it is you want in a relationship, um, 
what you're going to allow. There is There are rules and values that you hold dear to yourself. Now, in the position of what you know to be true, this is what you may be thinking or feeling throughout the month of June. And remember, June, like all months, is three or four weeks long, four weeks long. So these energies are um, mixing and extending throughout the entire month. Rather, not just a moment in time, but over an extended period of time. So we have to think about these cards as energies that extend for weeks at a time. Now, in your thoughts, in your feelings, which you have not manifested yet, you may be thinking that things are on hold or that you are forced to see things from a new perspective. Obviously, this does indicate some kind of compromise or sacrifice that you are thinking about making or you have already made. Either way, this card does talk about, um, you know, there is restriction here, but it's restriction so that, um, you know, you can become enlightened and you can start to see things differently. Um, I definitely do think that there that you did have to make a sacrifice. I believe it was a, uh, with a soulmate, someone that um, you may have had to let go of. But this sacrifice, while things are on hold, maybe with that person or um, even in terms of where you think things are going, time stands still for a moment. Um, you are given the opportunity to see your world from upside down and what does that look like or what is it that you want to bring in this month of June that will be completely different from what you've done before because obviously you learned some major lessons here and you're not going to be repeating the same mistake over and over again especially not with the high priest here because he's all about learning a lesson he's all about teaching and values and um, perhaps you have been a teacher to someone else, perhaps you are uh, learning something about relationships this month that you had not previously known. And it's because of uh, this breakup from a soulmate or this, this loss of someone that was very, um, very special to you, but at the same time, um, perhaps not sharing your same values or perhaps the relationship itself needs to be rebuilt on a more solid foundation, one that you can both agree on and share in. Going into the near future, I would say the middle of June, you have the Page of Swords. This can represent a person, although it does, uh, being that it's a page, it would also talk about communication. Um, swords being the mental. Um, I have him looking back at the situation. He's almost like on guard. But look at him, he's battling this little, um, I would say uh, like he's, he's battling like a scarecrow. So it's, it's, not, it's not like an actual person there. He's practicing, right? He's practicing. And so in that sense, um, it begs the question, well, is this actual real communication or is this a superficial communication? Um, and what is it that the page is learning from this experience, from talking to or battling the, the scarecrow? Perhaps the scarecrow is like the other side of himself where he's thinking thoughts and writing and discussing. So definitely, a lot of discussion for you in the middle of June, a lot of talking, um, a lot of communicating your thoughts, your feelings, your ideas. I'd say more ideas and thoughts than anything. Um, and uh, I'd say probably semi-detached from emotions here, being that he is a page and we are dealing with the swords. But just for the sake of this reading, and I'm not doing runes today, I will be taking a look at all of the court cards that pop up. And we will take a look at the uh, Vera Sibylla. Spirit, what can you tell me about this Page of Swords with regards to my Gemini? My Geminis. What can you tell us about this Page of Swords? Okay. 
La Legresa, La Jereza. I'm still learning my little Sabilas here. Tanari and La Nemica. So with this communication or with regards to these thoughts, we have the butterfly or La Lechereza, which is talks about lightness, um, freedom, uh, Definitely, um, it can talk about sexuality. It can talk about that. Um, Denari, which is, I would say, um, let me just pause this for a second because I just want to check one thing. Okay, my Geminis, I just wanted to look something up here. So on the Page of Swords, which does talk about communication, we have La Legereza, which talks about sensitivity, tact, irritability. Denari, which does talk about money. And La Nemica, which does talk about a woman who acts secretly. So um, using tact or, or um, sensitivity with regards to your money. And also here we have a woman who is acting in secret possibly some sort of enemy here um but perhaps you are learning some information or being uh discreet about something regarding money in a relationship or um there is another woman in your life who is acting secretly or is an enemy of some sort. Um, but money does have to do with the situation and so does being tactful and sensitive to, um, you know, other people involved, possibly. Um, if this is you, uh, then you are the one who is acting in secret. If this is someone else, this is another person that you have to kind of tiptoe around. Okay, so in the position of how you see yourself and during the month of June, I, you have the Four of Cups. So just look at his face. It doesn't look very happy. But there are a lot of people taking care of him, serving him food, <clears throat> preparing the food, bringing it out to him. It's almost like he is just unappreciative of the stuff going on around him or even maybe unaware of the fact that people are there to help him. So there is a sense of withdrawal emotionally for you or even just being emotionally unavailable or not even like present in some of these social situations. So be sure you're not missing opportunities. Um, you're dwelling on something or you're just completely devoid of emotion sometimes during this month. <clears throat> now interesting in your environment, <clears throat> excuse me, you have the queen of pentacles in reverse. So this can be someone in your environment who is an earth sign female, but it doesn't have to be. It can also be a male, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Coming up reversed, um, this is either someone who is very materialistic, greedy, or um, is not interested in a commitment. They're too focused on themselves, and they're all about, um, I don't want to say it, uh, they like to leech off people. They're like leeches. So this type of woman or this type of man would um, possibly cohabitate with someone or possibly just date someone um, because what they can get, what they can offer. Like someone who they would like to be with someone that strokes their ego a lot. Um, now, this is also how your partner may be viewing you or dealing with you. If you have a significant other in mind, we're talking about that person as well. I am going to be looking at the Sabilas on this card, but that is how they would be viewing you or dealing with you. Someone who cares more about the material things in life and not about true love. Okay, that's not to say that's how you actually are, but that is how the other person is going to be viewing you or dealing with you. 
Um, now let's get some more information because obviously if someone is viewing you or dealing with you that way, then they themselves are a little bit, um, how do I say it? They themselves know exactly what that's like because they're like that themselves too, if that makes any sense. So I'm not admonishing you in any way or I'm not, um, you know, criticizing you or, or saying that that's how you are because I don't think that's how you are. I think that's how the other person is viewing you or dealing with you. Spirit, can you give me some more information on this Queen of Pentacles reversed? More information on this Queen of Pentacles reversed. Who is this person? And or how are they viewing and dealing with Gemini this month? Like I said, this could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or someone that has those earth signs in their um, rising or moon sign. Okay. Letterato, Viaggio, Messagiere. Okay. So how they're going to be viewing you or dealing with you. Letterato. I see um, a man pictured here. So maybe we are dealing with a man, not a woman. Now, the letter auto is um, someone who is very inventive and creative, and he is uh, he likes books. He's an intellectual, right? Um, now, Viaggio does talk about travel, so someone may be traveling, um, traveling for business, traveling for work, traveling to see you, or maybe on the road. Messagiere. So um, this is a message received, whether positive or negative. So um, I do see them both all looking in your direction, Gemini. This is definitely some kind of male energy here. And a message, someone who's traveling and uh, someone who is very creative and inventive. So some information there for you on this other person and how they may be viewing you or dealing with you. Perhaps they are writing to you to see if they can travel to see you. Perhaps they are um, on the road and receive a message from you or they themselves are sending a message to you while they're traveling. Your hopes and fears, you have temperance in reverse. I think your fear is that you would be unbalanced or lose your patience or even not heal from this situation. Remember, this is just a fear. It will not actually happen or come true. So concentrate on, focus on what it is that you want to bring about. Um, Focus on that energy, not on your fears. Your outcome for the month of June is the, the little page of pentacles in reverse. Now the page is fishing for something and he's hoping he's going to catch something good, but he's not sure and he may be a little inexperienced. Well, here in the reverse, we have the page, the little page of pentacles. This can represent a message as well about money, but not a very big one. And um, sometimes with the page, we are talking about an earth sign again, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But again, this is someone who is, is more immature. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to do with their age. It can just be with, have to do with their maturity level. Um, now, reversed, I typically re represent a page in reverse as someone who is stuck in a rut. Okay, someone who is stuck in a rut and someone who... Um, Again, I'm getting this earth sign in your environment here and then here. This page is someone who is really stuck and um, I, I kind of think of them a little bit as superficial or unorganized, like they, they could be dealing with a lot of clutter, um, but just an unorganized person who may be um, starting off on a new path, either financially or with a job, but this person has a lot to learn and 
They better start learning fast. <laughs> so let's see what the Page of Pentacles and the outcome position is bringing to you, Gemini. Okay, we have Deliranti, which is foolishness and stupidity. Vedovo, the man who is full of regrets. Um, and the La Conversazione, which is a conversation. So uh, whoever this person is coming in your outcome position, I don't feel like it's your energy. Uh, they are acting a fool with a bunch of friends. They are full of regrets and possibly a widower or someone who's come out of a relationship. And there is a conversation here that will happen with this person. And um, I do see a lot of people sitting at the table. So uh, it could be um, that there's more than one person involved in this conversation. But Anyway, this is my reading for you, Gemini, with regards to your love life. And if I were to just take a look again at your Oracle card, it does say adrift, letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. And what I want to say about that is uh, you are to not try and control the situation you are to let things happen and go with the flow. This is what this card is all about. It's about going with the changes. It's about letting go. And this means relinquishing um, some control. It's not like a tree grows straight and narrow. It is more like the river flows where it goes where it wants and it goes to, you know, the ocean. So you have to kind of let go in your emotions. You have to let go in your heart. You have to let go in your body. You have to just let go. And uh, it, it's not any simpler or clearer than that. This is your overall spiritual message. And I want to thank you for joining me. Namaste.